tire smoke. So I'm walking down my way to Portobello Road to meet Lee Harris. He is the chap that was the London mayoral candidate for Sister. Cannabis is safer than alcohol. And he also runs London's oldest head shop on Portobello Road. So go in there for a quick meeting. I'll let you know how we get on. So I am outside Alchemy Head Shop in London. It smells delicious actually. I don't think it's coming from the head shop, but it smells like someone's been doing a few cheeky dabs. Uh, I've got my vape pen. This is what I take out and about with me when I'm on the move. Gets me high nice and discreetly. This is London's oldest head shop, Alchemy, run by Lee Harris. There's plenty of people walking up and down the road. There's music playing. It's great. Better not have too much of this. 92% THC. But it's so damn tasty. Uh, with me is Kalon. Runs the London Weed Lovers Link Up. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Really good Facebook group where people are sort of chatting about stuff and, and sharing it all day, every day. So yeah, I'm a member of that group as well myself. We're just waiting for Lee to get here, so we're just having a bit of a smoke, and uh, I'll keep you updated. Hi, I smoke. So I'm sitting here with Lee Harris. We're just talking about cannabis, and uh, I've been to check out Lee's shop, Alchemy, on Portobello Road, and we just stopped off for a coffee. Um, what's this place called, Lee? Portobello Garden Arcade. It's yep. a lovely place here to sit outside. And it is. Uh, we're taking a look at Lee's um, magazine that is being, being digitised. Bob Marley, Roy Orbison, crying. <laughs> John Lennon's Imagine, Hawkwind Brainstorm, which I name my comics over, and The Doors, Riders in the Storm. Tell us about the sort of how you've seen it change um, in the what? How many years is it now that you've been no, no, campaigning? At least from 1967. We thought it's going to happen any day. <laughs> Beautiful people, mm, and yeah. it was being, it was people were smoking all over the world, and repressions, and uh, uh, police raids, and stops and searches, plainclothes police with hidden cameras. I have two cases where I was convicted on cannabis conviction. That I had no cannabis even on me. Really? Yes. Oh wow! How, how well, did they manage that? Well, silly enough to put the British Growers Guides in the window, yep. which of course attracted the plainclothes police. So uh, they pulled me in the front, I said, and they said uh, take him to the police station and charge him for allowing the premises for the supply of seven grams of cannabis, oh, God. which I'd ne never seen then or ever. I had to be on four week watch and go to the Old Bailey for two days and be found not guilty. Something I'd ever seen or had, so yeah. that's how ridiculous. Yeah, it's so and, ridiculous. And then yeah. I was busted in the shop. They took away my cigarette papers and I I hardly had a wooden empty pipe. For that I got a three month jail sentence. That's crazy. And yeah. suddenly I was above the flyover going to Wormwood's Clubs. I had just enough time to bring my wife and my young children yeah. to say I'm not coming home and to let the sh shop know. And then I was in Wormwood Scrub prison up the road here. Mm. And uh, the next day I was bailed because uh, I appealed. It was a sketch on spitting image mm -hmm. and uh, it made me a backstreet hero. On all the head shops started and growers guides. Awesome. And yeah, yeah. So, so it had a positive a impact on your standard pair of someone yeah. to stand up. Yeah. Even though I had to go and walk the yard in one of the scrubs. And obviously it's changed a lot now because the internet has enabled everyone yes, to put yes. their, their word out and for everyone to be able to see it. So people can't, it's a lot harder to censor people's opinions now. CBD is a market that's grown in the UK massively. I mean, I first came into contact with it when I was searching on Amazon and I just put cannabis in and loads of CBD oil and things came up um, and it's helped me a lot with anxiety and stress. It just, it helps in so many ways. I'm using it at the moment for peripheral uh, vascular disease, which yep. means that uh, due to um, many years of smoking tobacco, yep. uh, it's just clogged my arteries in the peripherals, it's the hands and the feet. I'm taking cannabinoids at the moment to get rid of the, the red, the, 
the, the hard news. How can our viewers and uh, readers find your magazine online? It's homegrownmagazine.co.uk. My first subscriber was Her Majesty's Dangerous Drugs branch at the Home Office. <laughs> Wow, yeah, brilliant. Thanks so much, Lee. So, yeah, what we'll do, guys, is I'll put this video up and it will contain sort of several bits from around the day when we've been out and about on Portobello Road and going to Alchemy to meet Lee. So, links in the description. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and share it if you like the video. Thanks, I Smoke. See you later. People are inflating prices ridiculously high depending on the strain. And to be honest, sometimes the quality doesn't match up.